And they're a team that does a great job, by the way, of protecting the basketball. This is not a group that turns it over a whole lot. Man, backing down on Maxi challenges Mobamba, who blocks the shot. Ill-advised shot by Terrence Mann, and then rebound goes to Buddy Heald in the mid-range. Third effort now for Harris, who has scored all the points so far this afternoon. He's got seven. Bamba the sixth pick back in 2018. Hart to the rim, counted on a foul. We'll delve into the Sixers' pre-Embiid injury. Their numbers were elite. Oubre Jr. cans a three. And he has looked really good the last five. Averaging 27, shooting 58% from the field and nearly half of the threes. Another three by Oubre Jr. 21st in the league, and that number has plummeted since Joel Embiid has not been available. Hart forcing the issue. Counted at a foul the second time here in the quarter. Five to shoot for Harden. Let's it fly ahead of the horn. James Harden with eight of the 12 here for the Clippers in the first quarter. You talk about where his shots have come from, Brian. He's weaving his way through, getting to that 14, 16 foot area. And Paul George weaves his way to the rim. So Mike, you're going to face zones. And if the zone offense is one that you can apply to a lot of different situations, then you're ready for it. That's the key thing. Just like T-Man is ready to knock down those threes. Double team again on Kawhi. Leonard from the wing. Counted on a foul for Kawhi Leonard. How about Brandon Boston getting some first half important minutes here for the Clippers? I think he's slowly developing into a pretty decent piece here for the Clippers. Oubre Jr. bounces inside to Martin. He's got the hoppers. He lays it up and in. Counted on a foul. 22 and 20 in the second and third quarters of that last game already. Giving up 38 points to Philly. It's the most that they have scored in a quarter. Now 41. This is not a battlefield promotion for him anymore. This is a guy that is in the rotation on the championship part of the team. Harden finds a cutting Norman Powell to lay it in. George draws a crowd. Throws it right to the hands of K.J. Mark. Power play here for the Sixers. Back to Martin. He can stuff it. Clippers down by 14. Harden to the rim. Harden lays it home and trims the lead to 12. They want to take advantage of every fast break. Awkward shot I felt by George Harris. George fakes the contest. Harris lays it in anyway. They have to bail him out. It's Martin Jr. for three. And Zoo has the rebound. You mentioned it going into break. A good defensive possession. Same there for the Clippers there. Zoo down the lane and hits. Misfires there. Rebound batted around. Goes to Harden. Finds an open Leonard for three. And he knocks it down. Here we go. 54-46 Clippers. Trail by real impact. Just five points, at least in his scoring. Harris knocks it down again. 15 for Tobias Harris. And he made a tough shot. It's been a missing color in their offensive rainbow. And something that they rely heavily upon. They've been the best three-point shooting team for much of the year. Harris just gets to the rim. Zoo lurking. Harris connects again. 19 for Tobias Harris. Looping pass to Zoo. And he goes to work on Bamba and lays it in. 15-point lead for Philadelphia. George wisely brings it back out. Clippers structure the offense once again. The Philly defense recoils. Harden to Zoo, the runner. Oh, it beats a Zubats. We've seen power and now finesse. He's going to be in Philadelphia for a very long time. Healed for three, not there. George with a rebound. Arcing pass to Leonard behind the defense for the flush. No two-for-one opportunity here. Clippers looking for one shot, but going to have to do it under duress. Oh, and it's Kawhi. 12 for Leonard here in the first half. Clippers were on a 16-0 run. Going back to the second quarter. Oubre Jr. stymied at the peak of his leap. What a block by Zoo. You know, and obviously that momentum will push him back on the ball. George for three. It's good. 
Mark James Harden with assist number 10. Oh, and Heal gets the lead right back. A shootout here in downtown Los Angeles. Clippers 7 of 19 from 3 this afternoon. Tyrese Maxey lays it in for Philadelphia. Leonard. Bamba with the closeout. George knocks it down anyway. Well, he's turned it around. No question about it. For about six weeks, didn't look like himself. And now he looks like the Paul George. We need him to be healed for 3. It's good again. Maxey. Drifting, missing, Oubre Jr. back out there after going back to the locker room and lays it in. Oh, what a play by Leonard. Ahead to George. Blocked by Oubre. Wow! In a similar environment, Oubre had dunked on George and then George returned the favor in the same game. And, of course, being a part of the Suns, a few years ago, Oubre Jr. accelerated down the Blocked again by Zoo. He didn't have enough the first time. He went back again. So Zoo can block it again. Kawhi the other way and lays it in. It's 81 77. Two times now we've seen Philly score off a missed shot and get the offensive rebound. What a pass by Zoo and a nice finish by Boston. So Zubat. Zoo, by the way, 13 points and 10 rebounds. Maxi in the corner to Oubre Jr. Driven off the line by Powell. Payne, that unorthodox looking shot, rattles home. Payne now, after bumping knees on Friday in Portland. Maxi around Boston and lays it in. Boy, that was a quick little shimmy. Clippers are down seven. It's time to go to work here. They've got time. And a long runway. The lob to Pumley is a great takeoff. It now trims the lead down to five. Harden now with 13 assists. Clippers trail by five. Maxi on the wing for three. It's good, and so is he. Maxi puts the Sixers out in front. Plumley with the rebound, botches the handoff. Boy, a tough sequence. Oh, an even tougher one with Maxi. Oh boy, my goodness, what a sequence for the Clippers. Harris hasn't scored in the second half until that basket right there. Yikes, it is 99-85. And what they did so well in the second and third quarter, not existent right now here in the fourth. Oh, my goodness, Maxi with 23. It's official. They've got to be pulled off, and they are executing exactly like the coach wanted. Payne for three. Continues to be a thorn in the side for the Clippers. Reed. I'll tell you what, I don't know if Kawhi Leonard comes back into this game. 108-87 with a game tomorrow against the Pacers. Well, Maxie with the ball again. We said earlier how high they are in the league rankings as far as fewest turnovers go. So Maxie can handle it without turning it over. Payne moves Maxie over to the two-guard or off-guard spot. That's a pretty good combination. Powell knocks it down. 113-95. Sends Embiid has been out of the lineup. That changed today. knocks down the three. Tyrese Maxey who has taken an additional step this year. It's one thing to go from 15 to 20. It's another jump to go 20 to 25. Maxey by the way, the Clippers have now faced all 30 teams in the league. This was the final one they had yet to face. Kobe Brown getting some action and knocks down the shot. His first in a month of Sundays. So last year they led the West essentially the entire year. No one was talking about them as possible winning a title. They do it Three falls again for the Sixers. Seven fourth quarter turnovers for the Clippers, and that'll do it. 121 to 107. A disappointing loss to say the least. But tip your cap to Philadelphia.